Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is RLS and today I am back with another tutorial. Hope you guys do enjoy the tutorial. If you do, don't hit four likes on this video, that would be absolutely insane. And let's get into the tutorial. So basically, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Action Screen Recorder. I've done one of these about like eight months ago to nine months ago now. And I've got over a thousand views. So I'm doing kind of an update one. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. And let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see, on the left hand side when you open up action you kind of get a very see user ryan videos kind of thing like where you export your videos afterwards you click on that and it'll bring up the folder you can change it to whatever folder you like but this is in my videos so youtube is where obviously where my youtube folder is and this is my action folder i always keep it in my action folder because i like it is quite handy moving on to the right hand side a bit more video recording f9 press to start slash stop video recording so that's what you can do if you're really struggling and all you've got to do is click F9 to start and F9 to stop. Recording mode, you get a game mode, you get a active uh, screen, so basically that means you record your whole desktop, but I've kind of cut it down so you guys can only see a little bit of it. Then this will record a certain part of your screen. File format AVI, so you can record in 1080p if you want to, but I'm recording original so you can, original so you can see little mouse clicks that I do. Video frame rate 30 goes up to 60. YouTube actually supports 60 fra uh, frames per second now, so you can go up to 60, but I'll go on up to 30. Duration. Duration means how long you want to record for. You can uncheck this, so you can record for how long you want, but obviously it will take up more space on your computer. Use perfect match. So basically what this means is that if there's a game, and it can go up to how long you want, and it ranges 30 frames per second and 1080p. So it will set it all, all up for you, so 1080p, 30 frames per second, if you guys know what I mean. Record system sound, so it records like if you're listening to YouTube and try not to laugh challenge, and Minecraft where you hear the block smashing, um, yeah, that's what record system sound. Allow multiple channel audio, I'm not too sure what it is, but I check it because it makes my audio sound better on my microphone, so yeah. Going on to the live tab up here, is your live stream, you can live stream. Remain in subscription time 365 days, that is a lot, but it stays like that, so don't worry about it. Moving to the other tab that's on the live stream is where you're live streaming to. You live stream 480p, 1080p, 720, It'll obviously take more a size up on your computer. Um, megapixels, megapixel, megapixel, yeah, megapixels, um, I think that means um, minutes per second or whatever. Enable action live stream, but I, I don't do that because I might be live streaming soon. So you click on this, you click on Twitch, and you type in your stream key. I'm not going to obviously be live streaming, so yeah. Moving on to the audio tab, um, F10 press to start slash stop audio control. I always use my output as WAV because WAV is also, also awesome. So what I always do is record silence so it doesn't skip every time I be quiet. Moving on to the timer or slash bent marking basically you don't really need this basically what it means is how long you want your video to go on for there's a lot of things um on this action that's really advanced as well moving on to the snapshot use a jpeg okay jpegs are better for it um obviously you can use png or jpeg but i like using jpeg i saw it was on png because there are a lot of png files as well moving on to like the advanced settings i uncheck all these um un tickle these um you guys can read them i'll give you time to read them moving on to like the video tab video quality i'll put it at high for the best video quality on youtube um bit rate i'll put it at 100 percent bit rate input range 0.255 use model you'll use multi-core recording record mouse cursor visualize mouse clicks that's what i'm using right now overlay graphics settings so use graphics you click on this and you go on to here or maybe not you click on here there we go thumbnails for videos and you pick that one pick one what you want to overlay to your video and it's job done this is for your uh, webcam if you have a webcam this is your microphone mine's a blue snowball so I'll pick the blue snowball and obviously your output of your audio or what your um, other video coming through this is the bit rate of my audio 256 kilobits um, I like unticking all of these. Um, I'll zoom out quickly so you guys can see what it looks like. This is it. Up here. Go. Moving on to the Everton export settings. See, copy all these down, guys, if you want probably the best export settings ever. 
Real ones are these. Basically, these are like F9s and F10s um, and F11s if you want to detect frame rate. So, detect frame rate is control F9. But I'm not going to F9, I'll stop my recording. So, yeah, that's technically action. Action is so easy to use when you get the hang of it. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, you can get four likes on this video, that'd be absolutely insane. And the audio might sound a little bit better and the P's come out a little bit better because I am using a pop filter now. And I hope you guys do like my new name, RLS, because I didn't really want to. Um, put game on the end because i do vlogs as well so i just changed to aria hope you guys do like it as well and i'll probably catch you guys in my next video peace